Hello. In this video, I will show you how to use the annotation tool. The annotation tool allows you to display information that would usually come from individuals within a classroom setting. So whether that's post-it notes displayed around the room or information placed on a whiteboard at the front of the room. The annotation tool allows a number of different options. So attendees can write text, they can use a free draw tool, and then there's other things such as the ability to highlight, use shapes, or to point at pieces of information using arrows. There are others. The annotation can be saved by both the host and also by the attendee. Be mindful of where that is being saved onto your computer and within the settings it will let you know where that, that is. For an educator I think this is quite useful for activities such as where you're giving them some text or a picture and having them highlight on that various pieces of information. For a team meeting, this could be useful for something such as mind mapping, so creating ideas and expanding off on that, and they would be displayed on the screen and, as mentioned, could be saved. Hello. So over in Zoom, it looks like this. In order to activate the annotation tool, you do have to be sharing a document first of all. So down on the share bar here, you have the option of sharing your screen, but also a number of the programs you've got running. For the purpose of this, I'll display this using a whiteboard, so a white canvas. So this would be your whiteboard, and you can already see that Mini has used the arrow function. So the arrow function is the spotlight just here. This arrow function can only be used at any one time by one attendee, so if I bring my arrow in here now, as if I'm pointing to a piece of information, it will remove minis. What you also then have is the text box, and learners also have these. You have draw, various different stamps, the arrow that I've just shown you, the eraser, Format will give you colours, undo, redo, clear, a number of options in terms of how you get rid of those, and then save, will take that and pop it into your folder. The select button just here allows you to move information around the screen. So if lots of people are placing lots of text onto a screen, it's likely a lot of those will overlap, and the select bar allows you to move those around. So I hope that that's helpful for you and gives you one or two ideas of how you'd be able to use Annotate um, in terms of your delivery.